Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeremy. Welcome to Polyphonic Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Tamer Animals by Other Lives. So before I get into this review, I just want to let you guys know I've actually never heard of these guys before. This was actually sh suggested by my subscriber Earlobe Robe, so thank you very much for that. Other Lives are a sort of indie folk rock band from Oklahoma. They've been around since 2004 and this is their third full-length release. This album starts off with a song called Dark Horse, and it starts off with a horn section and continues on with more typical instruments you would find in a rock setting. This song really reminded me of Fool on the Hill by the Beatles. The song As I Lay My Head Down has some really nice harmonies on it, and it really captivates you and really takes you into the song, and it really holds your attention for the whole thing. It has a very haunting feel to it, and lots of sort of things going on, um, and a very unusual rhythm to this song as well, um, and which I really like. But at the same time, it sort of lacks a little groove and a little um, direction, but it's still an enjoyable listen nonetheless. The title track, Tamer Animal, starts off with the piano, and it goes into this sort of Nick cave type of feel with the heavy use of bells with a lot of reverb on it um, it really has a like a mid 90s Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds type of thing going on with it um, but the voice is not as deep and then the chorus sort of picks up and it almost has a disco feel to it but don't get me wrong this is by far not a disco song and by the end all the pieces sort of come together and it sort of launches into this climax before it, it sort of halts altogether. and this was this was definitely a standout for me probably my favorite song on the album um, I really love this track. Old Statues actually has sort of a waltz type of thing going on. It has a very laid back feel and again returns to that Nick Cave type of sound. You can tell these guys are influenced by Nick Cave but they don't come right out and say it which makes them stand out on their own. A lot of bands tend to wear their influences on their sleeves. These, these guys don't. They, they tell you who you're, they're influenced by but then they, they sort of do their own thing which I really respect. Landforms is uh, another one of my favorite songs on the album. It has a very uplifting feel to it, a very uh, positive vibe going on. And it also has some very nice harmonies. That's one thing I notice about this band is these guys know how to do harmonies very well. And um, they, they really take it to another level. So I really like this album. Uh, it has a few weak spots, but overall it's an enjoyable listen, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So anyways, that's what I thought about the album. Let me know what you guys think uh, with a comment or a video reply. And don't forget to check out our Twitter and Facebook pages, as well as our website, polyphonicpress.tk. All the links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, that way you'll know when I post a new video. And if you'd like me to review an album, let me know in the comments or with a private message on YouTube. Um, and I guess that's about it. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Take care.